What is it? Compare Animal Farm to the Communist Revolution in Russia and describe examples of symbolism used by the author. Have okay. fun. Okay. The book is an allegory to the Russian Revolution written in 1945 by George Orwell. The prompt says we should, we have to explain how it's an allegory. Okay guys, so symbolism. Yeah, like animals and objects that represent other things, right? Like what we did in English class when we had presentations on figurative language. Here, I'll look up what the dictionary says. Okay, so the dictionary says that it's the use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. So what examples of symbolism have you guys seen about communism in the book? I think that Mr. Jones is supposed to be Nicholas II. The author writes that Mr. Jones is an alcoholic and he doesn't treat his animals right. You're right, Connor. I wrote a paper on the czar and uh, he was a bad leader who didn't treat his subjects right. The next scene that Orwell writes introduces us to all the characters. What do you think they represent? I think Old Major is supposed to be like the Communist Manifesto. Don't you mean like Karl Marx instead? Yeah, that makes more sense. How does Old Major's dream represent the Communist ideals though? Well, the Communist Manifesto is written to show the flaws of capitalism and the greatness of, commun of communism. And Old Major's dream and speech is showing the other animals the problems with how Jones is running the farm and how they would run it on their own. Okay, so we know that the dream and the speech are to put the idea of rebellion in their heads, but where does Orwell go from there? Well, Old Major dies, right? Yeah, three days after the speech. And that's when the pigs become the leaders of the revolution, right? Yeah, Snowballs, who was supposed to be Trotsky, and Napoleon, who's supposed to be Stalin. Yeah, we just learned about this in history. Stalin is a power-hungry dictator. Do the other farms represent anything? Piltington's farm is the U.S. and the U.K. Frederick's is Germany. How do you know that? Well, Orwell uses the farm to show the relationships between the U.K., Germany, and Russia. Okay, we have the major characters, but what did uh, Orwell use on the farm to show what Stalin did in Russia? Wait, I have a question. Go ahead. Why did Orwell include the Seven Commandments? I mean, Stalin didn't have Seven Commandments. The commandments are supposed to be the rules of a communist country. They are just to show the readers that they have rules, and later when they break them and change, we know what they are. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Thanks. Okay guys, back to the prompt. The Battle of Cowshed was the first major battle, right? Yeah, I remember reading that. That was the Civil War when the Bolsheviks defeated the White Army and took over. Just like how the pigs took over after the animals won the farm. I think the next big thing is the windmill. <laughs> I think the windmill is supposed to be the beginning of Stalin's five-year plan. Well, the windmill was supposed to be Stalin's or Trotsky's five-year plan to expand communism, but Napoleon or Stalin twisted it so that it could only help his farm. I'm confused. Well, in the Russian Revolution, Trotsky wanted to expand, but Stalin just wanted to be a dictator and wanted to be the leader of his own population of people. So the windmill shows growth of communism, but Snowball's idea was expansion and Napoleon's was growth for only him. Yes. Do you think that's enough for us to write an essay? Yeah, I think that's enough. We learned that different characters represent different things and Orwell used different characters to show different parts of the Russian Revolution and the different examples show what happened. So I think we're good. Me as well. Mm -hmm.